Hey guys, Jared Rhodes here, Cold Vision Outdoors. I'm in the kitchen today. This is the first time I've made any kind of a cooking video, and it's not going to be a step-by-step, -step, but I just wanted to let you in on a little secret about how I fry up northern pike. My sons got out on the river yesterday and had a great time, caught quite a few northern pike, so we brought some home, cleaned them up. I've had them in a saltwater bath overnight. Um, that usually brings out the flavor a little bit, but I want to show you my secret recipe and see what you guys think. You try it at home and let me know in the comments what you guys think. So first things first, I use the old standby. Shore Lunch Beer Batter. You can get this at pretty much any grocery store or hardware store or gas station in northern Minnesota, but it's definitely good with northern pike. I used to make a lot of fish tacos out of it until I realized that northern pike doesn't even need to be on a fish taco. It's a delicious uh, eating fish. So. Um, that's what I start out with as my base, my beer batter from Shore Lunch. And then uh, obviously I want to make sure I'm frying in a good oil. I don't use anything on my fish except for pure peanut oil. I know some people have a peanut allergy. You can't eat it. That's fine. Canola, vegetable oil, it all cooks up. But for my money, if I'm cooking fish, pure peanut oil is the way to go. Now, for a side, I always like to do wild rice. And this is our... Uh, Minnesota wild rice that we cook up as a side with our fish. But there's one thing I know you guys are saying, well, heck, everybody cooks like this. Everybody has the same ingredients. There's one ingredient that's going to set it apart today, the special ingredient. And uh, had to go to the liquor store to get this one because I'm not much of a beer drinker, but when I'm making fish, you know, don't let the smooth taste fool you. But there's the uh, there's a special ingredient there. So they even put it in a little bag for me. I don't. I guess the bag I can reuse later. But um, you know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think there's a song made about Colt 45. Uh, it's all you need. And anyway, it is all you need when you're frying up some northern pike because it makes the northern pike delicious. And we're gonna fry some up right now. And I'm gonna show you the kids' reaction to it. Uh, we've been doing catch and cooks for a while now, but I don't think they've ever done a catch and cook where they eat pike. They might have eaten some pike that I made, but these are pike that they caught. They're excited that they're going to get to eat their catch from yesterday. So that's what we're doing for lunch. Stick around. I'll show you what they come out looking like and uh, let you see the kids' reaction to, to eating the pike with my special recipe. <laughs> Cold Vision Outdoors. Like and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell, please, for us. It really helps out. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. So here's the loadout for today, you guys. We're out on the Roseau River. The boys are just running and gunning. We got the sled, and we got an auger and a scout, and we got the Markham, and that's our loadout. We got a couple buckets with some snacks. We got the all-dressed chips. And Coda's just following us down the river as we're popping holes and seeing what we can catch. Sometimes that's what you got to do, isn't it? We're in about five foot of water, and that's kind of where we were catching them at yesterday. So if that doesn't work, we're going to go find a deeper spot. Hey guys, I'm out here on the Roseau River. Just wanted to kind of show you our setup for the day. Didn't want to go far from home and didn't have to because literally my home is right up through those trees. So uh, we've got the otter set up, got some holes drilled, got a tip up out with a little Cisco on it. We've already iced one fish, actually Colin, my son, put that fish on ice. And now we've decided that it's a little too chilly to be out here just fishing on the ice. So we popped up the old otter and uh, put the buddy heater in there and we're just kind of hanging out and 
seeing if we can't catch a few more of these little hammer handles or you know maybe there's a, a walleye or two down there that we can get a hold of so just wanted to show you what we're up to today and uh, of course we got the Muppet sled out here that's always fun and uh, we'll do a little update maybe show you guys later what we caught we got to cut it early today because we got to make a hockey game tonight but uh, we're gonna see how many we can put on ice before then so he can warm his feet up here by the buddy heater there's Colin he's got the first fish on ice so far today got our Canadian tire bucket you got to have a Canadian tire bucket up here it's just it's an essential it's an essential piece of fishing material, isn't it, Kale? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we got the Vexlar set up. We're in about five foot of water, which isn't deep, I know, but we're on the river and these fish are just coming up and down and you never know what you might catch. So that's the setup for the day. Roseau River fishing. God, you got him. You got him, Kale. Good job. Look at you. You got him. You can stop reeling now. <laughs> what do you think of that? It's big. Yeah, you got a big one. Look at this. You got your good little pike through the ice, didn't you? Yeah. Mmm. Pretty good? He's like some good chicken nuggets. <laughs> like good chicken nuggets? Mm -hmm. It's good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Coda can't have any. She didn't put in on this. Ha, ha, ha.